Fryberg sits midway up Maine's western border with New Hampshire, not far from North Conway, within view of the White Mountains. A town of about 3,500 people, Fryberg's a pretty quiet little place, usually. <laughs> Except for that week in October when a couple hundred thousand people decide to drop by. Happy Freiburg! They always would say that, that for the eight days of the Freiburg Fair, Freiburg's the, the largest city in Maine. Sounds good. Um, who knows? About the only thing older than the Freiburg Fair around these parts is Weston's farm. I'm the seventh generation. March of 1799 is when officially took ownership of the property. John Weston's family has been involved with the fair since the get-go. That's not to say that after a long, busy week, he's heartbroken to see the visitors get going. As we say, we like to see the fair come. It's also good to have it go as well, so. <laughs> In fact, the Westons help oversee livestock at the Freiburg Fair. We're just in time to catch the Steer and Ox Costume Parade. But first, do you even know what an ox really is? If you're anything like me, you know it's some sort of cow creature. Uh, maybe it's time for a bovine primer. We're now ready for Jersey summer yearlings. Well, a girl cow doesn't become a real cow until she's had a calf and begins producing milk. Lily here is a year and a half old and pregnant for the first time. So she is a heifer right now and she will officially get her cow title when she has her calf. As for the boys, they're bulls, at least until they get fixed or neutered. <laughs> at which point they become steers. And at the age of four years old, he graduates and he is considered, he becomes an ox, and he's an ox the rest of his life. This is a beautiful pair of... Steve uh, Norton is superintendent of steers and oxen at the fair. Hard-working animals that can weigh more than a ton and elicit an outsized devotion from their owners. What do you love about these animals? It's the passion that uh, these people have that's uh, it's 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 indescribable. It's uh, if it's like a, a homeowner or a family that has a, a, a pet. It, it's part of they're part of the family. The Freiburg Fair boasts the world record for the largest gathering of yoked steer and oxen. Do the oxes carry their heads just a little higher than the steers? Well, if they're eight feet tall, they certainly do carry their head <laughs> high. Yeah. But all great things start off. Small. Every day I go to the farm and I groom his legs or wash him and blow him off. Every day for the last year, 11 year old Olivia Shaney has devoted herself to the care and nurture of Salty, now an 18 month old steer. He didn't even let me put a halter on him when he was a calf. And I've worked with him for a full year and, um, I've, I've raised him and got him used to people and ready for the auction. And the auction's the tough part. At the end of the week, Olivia, a member of the local 4-H club, will have to say goodbye to Salty, and that's gonna hurt. I don't think I'm gonna get another steer because I just think it's too hard to raise him and then let go of him. So I'm definitely gonna get another cow but I'm going to raise her to be a breeding cow instead of selling her. Poignant life lessons would seem part and parcel of farm life. And over in the swine and goat grandstand in front of a savvy skillet throwing crowd, your humble reporter is about to get schooled on a field of flying pans. Ladies and gentlemen, new Freiburg Fair record, 64.9! Maggie, woo, good job! We catch up to the new record holder in the skillet throw, secretly hoping some of her talents might prove contagious. How did it feel up there? Actually nerve-wracking, there was a lot of people here. Are you an athlete? Um, I'm actually a semi-professional football player. Oh, wait. So, I mean, come on, that's not fair. 
Turns out Maggie Schofield is the quarterback for the Maine Mayhem, a women's semi-pro team out of Portland. Doesn't exactly bode well for my chances. Okay, let's go. Erica, here we go, girl. You but destiny awaits. The time has come for me to cast my fate and fry pan to the wind. Twenty-one feet, oh, seven Maggie. inches. I'm sorry, Chronicle viewers. I should have done better for you. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're very proud. Oh, my God. No need to apologize. <laughs> Erica, you did great. She also says there was no prep, no practice throws. She got up, took a deep breath, let her rip. Yeah. There she goes. We're very proud. Yeah. She did a great job. Big scramble next time. Uh, back quickly to uh, Olivia Shaney. She obviously was very hard for her to yeah. let Salty go, but they are going to mm -hmm. have a new heifer in the family, and that's going to be a permanent member of the family. So she's recovering that way. All right. <laughs> Good for them. All right, next, fairgoers on the cutting edge.